Broadcasting live from the Subaru of Gwinnett Studio in Atlanta, it's time for Gwinnett Chambers Monthly Radio Show. Open for business. Spotlighting the top chamber members in Gwinnett. Open for business is brought to you by Veritech. Veritech. Great people. Remarkable service. Hello and welcome again to Open for Business. I'm your host, Johnny Phelps, a realtor broker with Harry Norman Realtors and a two-time ambassador of the year for the Gwinnett Chamber. Uh, each month on this program, we highlight and spotlight some of the top businesses that are members of the Gwinnett Chamber of Commerce. And we're pleased to have with us today John Schweitzer of GDP Technologies, Esteban Watson of Espute Productions, Callie D'Angelo of the Gwinnett Chamber, and Jerry Hewitt of Wealth Horizon. And, John, uh, let me uh, turn to you first. Uh, GDP can mean a lot of things to a lot of people, but what is GDP Technologies? Well, great. Thank you. And GDP Technologies, you know, it actually – originated from uh, an old line company called Georgia Duplicating Products. But really what we focus on is trying to improve everybody's real GDP, one client at a time. And for us, uh, we focus on four primary business areas. We focus on traditional copy and print technology because we're a wholly owned subsidiary of the Xerox Corporation. So that's our main line traditional business. And then we offer managed IT services, so everything from backup, recovery, desktop support, and all the things. And what we bring to you in that area is we bring you sort of the Fortune 500 disciplines of IT, but we bring them to the small to medium business from 20 to 500 employees. So that's our focus there. And then we do digital signage in the workplace. So as you see, you know, static signs are going away. And we actually focus on the programming and the maintenance of the signs rather than the uh, other parts so that we can have fresh content all the time because a stale digital sign is just as bad as an old poster <laughs> hanging, on the, uh, hanging on the wall. And then finally, we do an, a business outsourcing is the fourth part of our, our business where we actually take over the entire operation for you and become your virtual CIO. We r worry about your printing. We worry about your copying. We worry about your workflow. And we worry about everything. So those are the four lines of businesses we participate in. We've been a Georgia company for 38 years. Technology in your name or certainly indicates, and just as you pointed out, how vast uh, that uh, an area that covers. With respect to printing, copying, and, and that type of material and, and expertise, how has it expanded? Because technology has expanded so many different things. How, how has it uh, changed what you do for your clients? Well, so, well, certainly, if you if you think back uh, traditionally, all you had was a piece of paper, and today, those devices are really just on ramps and off ramps for workflows inside of the inside of your workplace. So, you know, it's really what you do with that piece of paper when you received it from somebody else, or what you do with it afterwards. So, we focus real hard on how to create efficiencies inside of the uh, inside of a business. So maybe it's, it can be as simple in production as, you know, what the manuals are now coming out on demand, mm -hmm. right? And they're coming out for the individual pieces. Or maybe more importantly, on a workflow on the way in, the document gets indexed, put away. It gets put away for its correct retention period, and it erases <laughs> itself automatically seven years from now. Goodness so, me. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's largely beyond my scope, but I, I, <laughs> I could appreciate what uh, – what you do there? What? Uh, how? How do you stand different from from other companies that do a lot of the same types of things? Yeah. Well. So, well. Certainly. Uh, you know. There's. There's. We're in a mature business on the uh, print and copy side of the business, but in the outsourcing business, we think we stand out as a as a company that because of our disciplines that come with being part of a Fortune 500 company, we're guys who really know how to deliver a very sound practice to our customers and give them great advice. And we also work very hard on making sure we're the best. So we do a lot of uh, process improvement inside of our company. So we have a patented process called the, uh, called the GDP 360 process, and it works to analyze everything that goes on in a business, and it's based on a continuous improvement model. So that's where we really try to help folks out and say, how are we going to improve your business every day? And that's, a, you know, that's, I think, our standout area. As you talk about those types of things, it strikes me that uh, your, your clientele need to have great faith in the people that they're working with for your company. So I, I would think that your training and development of your staff uh, must be pretty extensive. Well, you know, um, we, we do, you know, when you think of a company our size, you know, we're over 100 people here in the Gwinnett area. And you would think a company normally that size wouldn't uh, – wouldn't have a 
dedicated learning and development staff. Mm -hmm. So we have a full-time learning and development staff at our group. In Xerox training, traditionally, too, as a core company, we're one of the most famous companies in the world at developing people, whether you can read recently in uh, the book of the CEO from uh, Starbucks. He talks about the most important thing that happened in his career was getting trained by Xerox, right? So, <laughs> so you know, we, we, we happen to blend those two cultures together. So what came from our parent company with our own learning and development staff and we really try to grow th people through the process and, uh, you know, make a better footprint for themselves, for, for their families, for the people they serve. And, you know, we focus on that stuff every day. And we, we own you for the first six weeks when you're a new guy. We even make you go through what we call uh, hell week, right? Okay. When you're, uh, That's when never you're a good thing. Back, right? <laughs> yeah, so, so we work hard at the training and development thing. Uh, we're talking to John Schweitzer of GDP Technologies. You touched on it here uh, in your last answer with respect to your association with Xerox. And uh, that is a company that uh, people have associated with copying and printing for a long time. And to have that uh, background and, and that basis uh, must be pretty special for you. Well, it's, a, it's a certainly a, gr a great relationship with us. They acquired the holding company that owns GDP seven years ago. And... Uh, the holding company is called Global Imaging Systems, and that company is legendary across their 20-year existence. So for 20 consecutive years, Global Imaging Systems has raised their top and bottom line and wow. never missed their earnings in a quarter. Bravo. Right, right? so uh, quite a great thing, and they do it on a very unique model. So the model is such that all 36 companies that are part of Global Imaging Systems are 100 percent independent companies so when people ask about our relationship with xerox there really isn't much of a relationship okay. per se but when you when you listen to xerox do their earnings calls and things like that they ask about what are you going to do with global imaging systems in their 36 companies that they own and xerox's answer is all this always the same so far for the last seven years it is the best performing asset that we have in our entire portfolio of our $20 billion company, and we're going to do absolutely <laughs> nothing with them because they know exactly what they're doing. Oh, boy, I should say so. What sort of uh, uh, a client uh, is, a, is a good client for you? Well, cer certainly, you know, our, our clients range. We have 8,000 active clients in the metropolitan area, so we have 8,000 people getting an invoice from us every month, <laughs> which is a great, uh, a great, par great problem to have. And, uh, you know, our, norm, our typical client uh, sort of falls into that sweet spot of 50 to about 1,000 employees. Okay. So, and we do have some giant clients, and we also have some very small clients. But we're really, uh, you know, we leave the uh, mega companies to our mother company, right, Xerox, mm -hmm. and uh, we take care of everybody else below that very top echelon. Let's, let's localize this. Uh, this is the Gwinnett Chamber program. What's... Uh, what's your uh, association with the chamber been like? You know what? So the the Gwinnett Chamber to us has been uh, they've been great uh, great stewards for us here in the county, and they recognize us regularly, which we appreciate for our ability inside of our employee development and things like that. We always try to give back and make Gwinnett a better place. And you know, one of our goals as a company is always to grow and create jobs. Well, Gwinnett has been great at understanding hey you guys are really I mean we increased our staff uh, you know by 10 people last year and we have plans to double our staff by 2020 so that is in our business plan and so our experience in Gwinnett's been very good we like calling it home here we moved to we moved from Norcross to Duluth in uh, last year in the beginning of last year and opened a new 35,000 square foot facility there so that's great we're very pleased with our relationship with the chamber and the uh, in the all the businesses we do business with here. How can people get in touch with you? You can reach us. Obviously, you can get us on the web at gdptechnologies.com. That may be the easiest way. Or you can dial us, and we're very proud to stay. We still answer our phone every call that comes Good in. Good for you. Good for yeah, you. So you can get us at 770-248-1020, and uh, we, we'll be glad to talk to you when you call. And you can even ask for me. I'll answer my phone, I promise. Uh, All right. That's, that's a great promise right there. John okay. Schweitzer of GDP Technologies, thank you. Ferratech has been in business for 25 years by manufacturing top-of-the-line toner supplies and offering outstanding customer service. Ferratech offers a 100% guarantee on all Ferratech products, so you know we stand behind our quality. For more info, visit ferratech.com. That's F-A-R-R-A-T-E-C-H dot com. And now we're pleased to uh, welcome Drew Hewitt of Wealth Horizon. 
Wealth Horizon in the name would indicate something related to financial. Uh, fill us in on that. Okay. Um, yes, we are a small boutique investment advisory firm. I'm a certified financial planner, investment advisor, and um, within the last 18 months, I've also earned my retirement income certified professional designation. I'm the only one in Gwinnett County to have earned that designation, and it's um, from the American College. Wonderful. So very proud of that. How did, how did you, what, what was involved in, in obtaining that? Well, like I said, 18 months of well, well, hard study yeah, right. <laughs> in addition to juggling all the other things I do. Um, and uh, there are three tests that you have to pass. So um, I passed them all. And, and besides passing, I passed them with great grades. Well, very good. Very good. I wouldn't expect anything else, Jerry. Right. Uh, has financial planning been something uh, that you've wanted for a long time to, to, to be able to help people with their uh, with their process and so forth? Sure. You know, I was a consultant for the first 10 years out of college, and I worked in the um, retail area. I was a, a started out as a buyer for women's retail, and then I went on to help uh, small mom and pops open their own stores. And through that experience, I it was an eye-opening experience that people just do not understand financial affairs and until they really look at where they are they can't know where they're going so um, I changed careers uh, when I was in my early 30s and I was very fortunate I believe that I have only been on the independent side. That's all I know. So you might be hearing a lot about the Department of Labor new rules. Uh, if you haven't yet, you will. Um, advisors that give you advice on your retirement plans are now have to act as a fiduciary for you. That's how I've always mm -hmm. acted. Um, and that means I have to put your interests before my own. So you, your responsibility is increased in that regard, correct? The liability, yes. The uh, compliance, um, I've always operated at that level, like I said. But now, in, uh, in addition to the SEC and FINRA, I now have the Department of Labor looking <laughs> over my shoulder. As if it, they didn't have enough to do. Oh, well, right. That's another story. Right. Right. Uh, when, you, when someone comes to you, what sort of steps do you take to help them go in the right direction? You know, Johnny, I think one of um, the way that we do it, I believe, is very different than the way most financial planners approach um, what they do for their clients. The very first thing I do when I sit down and start talking to a couple or a single woman, a single mother, we work with a lot of women, um, I give them a journal. And I tell them that their homework is to go home and envision what their most perfect life would look like. And that's where we start. They come back in and we talk about that because the vision um, and the intent of how we live our lives is going to be reflected in the way we manage our money. We want those two things to be congruent. We're talking with Jerry Hewitt of Wealth Horizon, and you're listening to Open for Business, the Gwinnett Chambers monthly radio show on Business Radio X. You, you said at the beginning you're a boutique um, uh, outfit. It, that might mean different things to different sure. people. Uh, explain how it, it, it is for you, for you and Wealth Horizon. Sure. Um, we are very dedicated to service. Our clients are very, they're long-term clients. Um, I've been doing this for 22 years. I have clients that have been with me from the very beginning. So boutique to us means that you're going to get an intimate experience. I answer my phone. You have my cell phone number. And, you know, I am available all the time. I love what I do. I'm passionate about it. And I only bring on a client that I feel that we can add value to what they're doing. So we only work with about 100 households right now. We work with what we call middle wealth. It's um, someone that has a net worth of about a million to maybe $10 million. Um, so it, they get it from us, we make them feel like they're part of our family. I take care of my clients like I take care of my mother, um, like I would take care of your mother. Uh -huh. 
So um, we give them education. That's the very first thing is knowledge is power. That's our maxim. So if, if you're not interested in learning and actually becoming empowered when it comes to financial um, ideas, then you're not going to be a good fit for us. We're not going to just take over and tell you what to do. It's a very interactive conversation. Well, it would seem, it, since you've given them a journal at the outset, they right. uh, they really have a stake in, in learning not only what they want or how or how to know what they want, mm -hmm. and and it's uh, you may get a feel for their lifestyle that it, that will help you go in the right direction. Correct, and the most important thing is getting to know what their values are, because uh, as I said. You know, we should be spending our money and our resources and our time um, on things that we value. You know, we're we're more interested in helping our clients live a quality life um, than we are in managing their money. And we truly do that over and over and over. I have seen dreams come true. I have seen women walk into my office devastated from a divorce and within a couple of years, these women are empowered, and they have the confidence to move forward. That's her tagline, the confidence to move forward. Warms your heart, does it not? It does. I love it. I, I, am, I get the privilege of watching people's lives change for the better. What's been in your involvement with the Gwinnett Chamber of Commerce? Oh, I love the chamber. Um, when we joined the chamber, I moved from Dunwoody about 15 years ago up to this area, and opened um, our firm on Peachtree Industrial. And immediately, I joined the chamber at the chairman's club level. Um, I, that's, I, a, that's a significant commitment right it, there. It is, especially for a small firm like ours. Yeah. Um, but I have met the most incredible people. Um, I went on to do Leadership Gwinnett. I, so I've now gotten very connected in, with the nonprofits in the community. Um, I'm doing a presentation for the Community Foundation next week. So all of these opportunities, and not business opportunities necessarily, but opportunities to get to know the incredible people that live in Gwinnett County. Th you'll find at the chamber, the most passionate people. And I'm, I'm one, I'm a cheerleader for Gwinnett County. I'm just amazed at what we've been able to accomplish. How can people connect with you? Um, the best way is go to our website, wealthhorizoninc.com, and you can always send us an email through there, or uh, call our office. Uh, Lynn, my assistant, who is fabulous, will answer, and she'll make sure that I give you a call back within usually within 12 hours. Very good. Jerry Hewitt of Wealth Horizon, thanks so much. And now let's uh, visit with Esteban Watson of Espute Productions. I'm, I'm familiar with Espute, but yeah. the, for those who are not, sure. uh, fill us in here. All right, man. Well, first of all, it's good to be back. I was here uh, about a month or two ago, so it's always fun coming back. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Espute Productions is a multi-tiered uh, production company. We do videography, photography, and DJ entertainment. Um, so those are the three areas that we specialize. There are other things that we do, but those are the three areas that we like to concentrate on. Well, I've certainly seen yeah. your act in the uh, <laughs> DJ Entertainment. And I've uh, seen you dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another show. Uh, <laughs> from the beginning, uh, here at the beginning, yeah. I know just recently you guys were honored as uh, Business of the Month. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. That tell, was, tell us a little bit about that sure, experience Sure, sure. Um, it was quite a shock because I know we joined the chamber a little bit over a year. So in our repertoire, we figured, you know, give it a couple years, we know we might get some recognition. But to get it within a year and some change is uh, definitely uh, wonderful. Uh, we were coming back from uh, Savannah, Georgia. It was around Labor Day um, well, no, St. Patrick's Day, actually, and we were down there for an event, and uh, it was the next day that I got a call from Angela. Uh-huh. Um, and I was talking to her. I was like, man, I'm really tired. I hope that whatever you have to say is some good news, or maybe we don't owe any money or anything <laughs> like that. And she's like, no, you're not going to believe this, but uh, you guys were selected as business of the month, and uh, uh, that, that whole two weeks, we were just like, you know, just full of life. You're still walking on air as a result of that, right? You know, it, it, April isn't over with yet, man, so we're still <laughs> celebrating on that uh, on that note. So, What are some of the things that uh, Espute Productions is working on now? 
Well, um, we do do a lot of uh, films and music videos, and it's funny enough, um, I, we, we had a job last night, and I know you saw me last night at mm -hmm. the uh, After Hours event. Uh, around 1 in the morning, um, we got a phone call um, that we actually won two awards. Um, our film Raised in the South of Normal, which is a short documentary that we've been submitting to film festivals for about nine months. But uh, we won first place in uh, Milledgeville, and the second place, I cannot say it because they're going to, um, I guess, announce it on Monday. Okay. Uh, but we won first place, so that I think that's about five awards for that film. So well, um, congratulations. that's what we're pushing right now. So. Uh, Atlanta and, and Metro Atlanta has become quite the, the – the destination yes. for entertainers yes. and and videos that uh, and this seems to play right into what you guys have going. Oh yeah, so we um, I know the company started somewhere around '03, and Daniel and I Daniel's the CEO. He started the company. Uh, we were in high school when all this was kind of been you know started, and we used to call it Atlanta Wood, and everybody would make fun of us because they were like, <laughs> "Oh, Atlanta, come on, that's not going to be the spot where you know entertainment blows or that we take the spot of Hollywood." But we really believed in it, and we said that you know if people don't believe in it, we'll create it. And it's been over a decade of us being a part of this uh, this entertainment game, and uh, we're seeing a lot of things happen, and we're a part of it, so it feels good, you know, it feels real good. You're a marketing coordinator, music supervisor. Uh, fill us in on what a, what the music supervisor. Yeah, you have to stay on top of this pretty well. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is the title on paper. Of course, I have to wear a <laughs> lot of different hats, you know, to keep the company doing what it does. But you know, um, a lot of the projects I have to soundtrack. That's one of the other um, skills that I've picked up over the years. So I have to supervise which music goes to any of the videos that we're working on. And if I can't choose the music, um, I have to make it. So that's the supervision part. I got to make sure I watch over anything that uh, goes on to the video as far as music goes. Um, I also DJ, um, so I have a strong opinion on the type of music that we put in the database. Um, so yeah, that's the um, the strong point as a as a music supervisor that I have to do. So. What what's the experience the uh, for for being a DJ and being at a party and yeah. getting people out on the dance floor yeah. and showing them the steps and all that sort of stuff? Yeah. Um, I never planned to be a DJ. Like uh -huh. this, it literally happened maybe a year or so ago. I've always been into music, but um, a DJ requires a personality. That that's the main thing. You can always learn the tools that you need to make the music and to play the music, but you got to be a people's person. You got to have a personality that's full of life, and you got to be able to read people. Um, and I think everybody in this room has that that talent of understanding people. So it just kind of transfers um, to a skill that you use as a DJ as well. So. What uh, you've you've indicated some of the projects that you're doing, yeah. but uh, do you do you have clients or entertaining clients for uh, video production, maybe uh, educational type oh, things yes. and programs such as that? Yes, yes, yes. And I won't uh, go, go uh, on the list of the type of clients that we have or the names, but um, there, we have a lot of uh, corporations and uh, nonprofit that come to us. And you know, the, the main thing that we're passionate about is stories because I feel that um, everything in life that's important uh, evolves around a dream and a story on how that dream was achieved. And um, I think our um, skill is to take that story and combine it in a video format. We call it storytelling marketing. And to be able to get that message out there um, of what the business wants to tell as far as what they're trying to achieve. So um, we have a lot of different clients. We're blessed with a lot of different clients and types of clients. But um, our main thing is stories. Like we do it in the films and we do it whenever we do storytelling marketing for a client. Talking with uh, Esteban Watson of Esbute Productions. Uh, I personally uh, have seen your involvement with the chamber, but uh, give us a, a feel for uh, how that's gone for you in the, in the year that you've been sure. in, in your membership. Yeah, the chamber has been wonderful. And I say that because in the beginning, we were trying to figure out, you know, what kind of organization to join. And uh, we're young, you know, uh, late 20s, early 30s. And um, I tried all kind of different um, um outlets, if you want to say. And when I came to the chamber, everybody was so welcoming. Uh, I, we felt like the young guys, we didn't know if we would fit in, you know, uh, but everybody was so welcoming. They didn't feel us, make us feel belittled or anything of that nature. So it's been a wonderful experience, especially, you know, uh, achieving the honor that we achieved this month. Uh, that's an indication that you fit in yeah. pretty well. Yeah. So I, I recommend the Gwinnett Chamber to anyone that's trying to be around passionate, professional individuals. You, you learn a lot. Give us your contact information for someone who may have needs of sure. what you got going. Sure. Um, you can find us on our website, espute.com. That's E-S-P-E-U-T-E.com. Of course, we have a Facebook at uh, Espute Productions, and um, you can find us on YouTube. And, uh, you know, we're all over the place. You are. Well, uh, congratulations and, and thanks, uh, uh, Esteban. Thanks, Sonny. Uh, I want to turn to Callie D'Angelo of the Gwinnett Chamber. Uh, this is a busy time for the Chamber. Uh, even today, uh, there's programs going on, but... Uh, uh, you, you've been with the Chamber for how long now? A couple of years or so? About two years and four months. Okay. 
what's but you you have a background with chamber of commerce work do you not I do. I've been in the chamber industry for about 10 years and kind of worked my way up to the Gwinnett Chamber. It's quite a large organization. So I did not expect to be in the chamber industry. I started my internship in Statesboro, and I really didn't know what I was going to do <laughs> once I got out of school. And There's a lot of that going around, yeah. so that's okay. And I didn't really know too much about the chamber, but what I did know is it's where business professionals congregate, where government is involved, and where giving back occurs to your community. So I said, maybe if I do my internship at the chamber, I'll figure out what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> and I st I'm still not grown up. I don't know if that ever happens. But what I did figure out is that I love the chamber world. And working with others and serving others is something that I'm passionate about. So it was a fit, and I've been sucked in ever since. What advancements did you make to, to get to the Gwinnett Chamber? Because you indicate it's big, and, and we've all known that it's uh, known internationally as, as a premier chamber of It really is. It's a reckon to force with, that's for sure. But yeah. I started in Statesboro as um, an intern, and they had part-time availability then, and they said, well, can you stay another week? Can you stay another week? And that kind of happened for about three years. So I worked um, in Statesboro as a receptionist and also did events like our golf tournament and things of that nature. And then after that, I started working um, part-time at the Tabby Island Tour Tourism Council. So, oh, that's a tough gig. It, it, it was it was so <laughs> difficult. I told people how to find the lighthouse. No, I'm kidding. But I, I did. I've climbed that lighthouse twice, oh, as a matter of fact. You're a brave man. I, you. I can't do it. But um, I mean, that was a lot of fun, uh -huh. and I got a lot of tourism and hospitality experience at the Tybee Isles Island Tourism Council. And then I also worked at the Port Wentworth Chamber of Commerce at the same time because both were part-time positions at that time. And I worked in tourism and business development there. And Port Wentworth is on the West Chatham side near the Georgia Ports Authority. So I did that for a while. And then, um, and then I got involved with the Savannah Area Chamber of Commerce and was their small business liaison and then also did programs and events. And then I uh, won a Metro experience, and Gwinnett had a job opening for exactly what I did. And it literally, you know, just fell into place. It was kind of a God thing. You know, it just worked out seamlessly. I literally had my last event, which was the Business Expo, <laughs> at the Savannah Chamber and moved two days later. Um, it all happened within about three weeks. What sort of programs and events come under your jurisdiction? Oh, there's quite a few. I know there is. Sure. And <laughs> some of them seem to be unrelated. So um, in our department, we have a programs and events department. So we work on a lot of the large signature one-off events. So whether that's our button-down dash or um, things of that nature. But we also have a lot of reoccurring events like our Gwinnett Leadership Organization for Women events, our general membership meetings that we hold monthly. So um, we have our annual dinner. So there's, there's quite a few. What's on, what's on the uh, docket here coming up uh, in the next weeks and months? Okay. Well, we have close to 300 events, but I will not go <laughs> through all of those. I, don't I think wouldn't ask you to name them all, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but some key events that we do have in com coming up. On May 3rd, we do have the Gwinnett Young Professionals. We're going to have a social at the Swanee Green from 5 to 7. That's a new initiative that we started um last year and it's been wildly successful so if you're a young professional or if you have young professionals in your organization I would certainly encourage them to get involved um, we usually have the honor of having um, our friend that you spoke with <laughs> earlier provide the tunes for us so it's definitely fun um, on May the 4th, the very next day, we have a general membership meeting featuring Commissioner McMurray with the Georgia Department of Transportation. We all know that's a hot topic and will continue to be, so we're looking forward to hearing some updates from him. And that's a luncheon at the 1818 Club. Um, we actually have a special edition business after hours at the Infinite Energy Forum on May 5th, and that is after LeaderCast Labs. So certainly try to come out for that. On May 10th, we have a Women's Wine Tasting Business Connection, which is under the Gwinnett Leadership Organization for Women Umbrella. And Jerry is one of our lead sponsors on that. So thank you so much for taking the time to get involved. But this is um, actually an event that launched our rebranding for the Gwinnett Leadership Organization for Women about two years ago. So this will be our third event. And it continues to grow. Um, the vendors and partners love it. And the women love it because there's not a lot of program that comes along with this one. It's just an opportunity for professional women to make connections. So that'll be held on the Duluth Town Green. 
Uh, we also have our Impact Regional Business Awards, which is a brand new event that we started last year, um, where we honor all the industries that are um, pounding the pavement with economic development and job creation and our quality of life. So that's certainly a good one. Last year, for our, in its inaugural year, we had close to 600 people in attendance. Wow. So that's definitely a wonder, wonderful event to attend. And we actually have some nominees in the room. So we have <laughs> GDP, y'all are a nominee, and also Wealth Horizon, and then Business Radio X is a partner. So we certainly appreciate that. And then let's see what else we have. Oh, this is kind of different. On June 7th, we're going to have a tri-chamber event. I was going to ask you about this. Yeah. This is, a, this is a new thing and really big. It is a new thing. And, you know, typically our registrations don't spike until two to three weeks before an event. So to have the response that we've had so far out in front of an event, it's I think it's going to be massive. So um, we already have close to 200 people registered, and we really haven't begun promoting it. But it's going to be at Lake Lanier, and it's called a Lake and Luau. So it should be a good time. It'll It's our organization, the Gwinnett Chamber, the Coming Forsyth Chamber, and the Greater Hall Chamber of Commerce. And that'll be a business after hours style, so 5 to 7. That is um, uh, the first of its kind with – I think it's interesting that uh, to see the uh, the different chambers in the area coming together for something like that. Absolutely. I mean, we're all in this together, and you're only as strong as your neighbors, and we certainly need to take a regional approach, and that's what we're doing. For someone who is has an interest, is listening and say, wow, this, they, they have a lot of fun. They do a lot of things. How can they uh, – uh, what sort of contact should they make to get to you? Well, if you want to get to me, you can call me directly. All right. <laughs> so just ask for Callie. But we have a, a fabulous staff that's ready to serve you. That's what our job is, um, is to serve our community and serve our members. So if you call Sally at the front desk and tell her what you have going on, she will certainly direct you to the appropriate person. And you go to GwinnettChamber.org and look on events, and you'll get all of that information, right? Yes, and you'll get all of that information. Callie D'Angelo, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. I want to thank, uh, again, all my uh, – uh, all of our guests today and and let's uh, return once again for for contact information and uh, john schweitzer of gdp technologies give us once again how people can uh, connect with you absolutely you can get us at gdptechnologies.com or 770-248-1020 jury how can they get with wealth horizon wealth horizon w-e-a-l-t-h-h-o-r-i-z-o-n inc.com or call us at 770-840-8440. And Esteban Watson of Espute Productions. Yeah, you can get us on the website, espute.com. That's E-S-P-E-U-T-E. All the additional content information is on there. So, Well, I thank you all for being with me today and, and being with us. Uh, uh, wonderfully informative, and you, you've brought great ideas and uh, information to us uh, for uh, – not only what, what you do, but, but your information with respect to the Gwinnett Chamber has just been fabulous. I'm Johnny Phelps with Harry Norman Realtors. I'm your host, and I thank you for being with us today on Open for Business.